Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing the tutorial of a crochet applique of a teddy bear. So this kind of appliques you can use in a lot of projects. You can use in crochet blankets or crochet sweaters. Here I'm going to use this applique for a crochet mask. So this is a child size crochet mask. I've already uploaded it. If you're interested, you can see it in the description box or on the i button that is above. So here I'm going to just use this kind of an applique for the normal basic classic crochet mask. You can use any kind of uh, appliques other than the teddy bear. I will be uploading more such appliques video in a playlist uh, and I'll just keep updating it. If you're interested, you can check the playlist also. So to just make any normal thing a little more interesting for the ch children, you can, you can make use of this kind of appliques. So this is what we will be seeing today and as you can see these are in two different sizes but the patterns that I have used for both of them are the same. It's just that I have used a smaller one with a 3.5 mm crochet hook and a DK weight yarn and this one which is what I am going to show today. Here I have used a 5 mm crochet hook and 4 ply medium weight acrylic yarn in three colors. You will also be needing a darning needle because we have to stitch the eyes, nose and mouth. So you definitely will be needing a darning needle and also a pair of scissors. So these are the things that you would require. Now we'll see. So for this I am going to start with a magic circle. So this is how I like to do my magic circle. I will make an X first. Then take the hook, insert it in the circle and then pull the working yarn. So this completes my magic circle. Now if you find making magic circle difficult, you can start with chain 4 and slip stitch into the first circle. So here I have made my magic circle. After that I am going to chain 2, 1, 2 and then I am going to make 12 double crochet in the magic circle. So I will make 12 double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook in the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first 2, yarn over, pull through the last 2. This makes my first double crochet. Like that I am going to make a total of 12 double crochet in the circle. Not including chain 2. Chain 2 I am putting just uh, so that uh, it kind of helps to have a less visible seam. So that's why I have made a chain 2. It just doesn't count as any stitch. So after chain 2 I am going to make 12 double crochet in the magic circle. So here I'm going, I'll complete 12 double crochet and then meet you. So here I have made 12 double crochet. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the very first double crochet. These are my chain 2 which I'm going to skip. And I'm going to insert my hook in the very first double crochet and then make a slip stitch. So this completes my round 1. You can now pull the tail of the magic circle to close it. So this closes my magic circle. Now I have 12 double crochets. Now round 2 will start. We will start with again chain 2, 1, 2. And then I am going to insert 2 double crochet each in every stitch. Alright. So this just is a turning chain you can say it. And then in the very first stitch where we had slip stitch that stitch I am going to put 2 double crochets. So here I am going to make 1 and in the same stitch I am going to put another double crochet. So 2 double crochets go in 1 stitch. Come to the next one. Here also I am going to put 2 double crochets. This is my first double crochet and in the same stitch I will put another one. So here I have 2. Come to the next one. Here also, this is my next stitch. In this stitch also, I am going to put 2 double crochet. Like that, in every stitch, I am going to put 2 double crochet. So, if you count it, you will have a total of 24 double crochet in this round. Because in round 1, we had started with 12. In round 2, if you put 2 double crochet on every stitch, you should have a total of 24 double crochets. So, I will just complete making... 2 double crochet in every stitch. So just finish it off. So here I have finished my round 2 putting 2 double crochet in every stitch. 
now to finish off this round i have to find my first double crochet this is my chain 2 i am skipping that and directly going into the first double crochet and then slip stitch it so this kind of finishes my face of the teddy bear that i am going to make uh, if I have to measure this, I would say it is around 6 cm or more than, it is not 2.5, it is 2 and a quarter inch. Now I will be making the ears, okay. So this is round 2 is finished. Now for making ear, what I am going to do is, I am going to first of all slip stitch into the first stitch like this I'm going to skip the next stitch and put seven double crochet in this stitch so I have slip stitch here I'm going to skip this stitch and make seven double crochet in the next stitch skipping one stitch I'm going to put seven double crochets in the stitch so that will make my first ear so one two three four five six and one more seven so seven double crochets will go in one stitch now skip this seven double crochets are going into this particular stitch if you see there is a next double crochet this you have to skip and in the next one you put a slip stitch so all the seven stitches has gone in this stitch you skip the next double crochet and slip stitch into the next one so that will complete my so here I am skipping the stitch and here I am going to slip stitch to form my ear alright so this forms my first ear after that I will slip stitch in the next three stitches also so slip stitch one slip stitch two and one more slip stitch three so total you have four slip stitches because I have first slip stitch here and after that I had put three more slip stitches so you have a total of four slip stitch now after making the four slip stitches we'll make the second ear and for that i will skip one stitch after making the four slip stitch i'll skip one stitch and in the next one the stitch next to it i'm going to make seven double crochet so skipping one stitch i'll make seven double crochets so that will complete my ear two so one two three four five six and one more so that will complete my seven double crochets and that we can finish the years and for that you skip the next stitch and slip stitch into the see all the stitches has gone in this double crochet there is a double crochet near to it that you have to skip and in the very next stitch you can slip stitch it so skipping one stitch slip stitch into the next stitch so this completes my face so i'll just cut this yarn i'll just cut it so I can just cut this yarn and finish off the face. So that is done. So this finishes the face. Now I'll make the white part. So for that I am going to take a white yarn and then again start with the magic circle. So here I'll make a magic circle first. After that I'll put chain two, one and two. And then again make 12 double crochet in the circle. Alright. So I will put 12 double crochet in the circle. So this is my 1, 2, 
3 like that I'll just make 12 double crochet and then meet you so here I have made 12 double crochet now I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet so this is my first double crochet I'm slip stitching into it and then finishing off this particular circle I'll just pull this yarn up to close the gap that is there all right that is the advantage of this magic circle now i cut this yarn but i'm going to cut it a bit longer so that i can attach it to my uh, study face so i'll cut this off so here i've got it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach it here all right so I'll take a darning needle and then stitch it up. So here I have made 12 double crochet. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet. So this is my first double crochet. I'm slip stitching into it and then finishing off this particular circle. I'll just pull this yarn up to close the gap that is there. All right. That is the advantage of this magic circle. Now I'll cut this yarn but I'm going to cut it a bit longer so that I can attach it to my uh, study face. So I'll cut this off. So here I've got it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it here. Alright. So I'll take a darning needle and then stitch it up. So here I've got my darning needle and just about this, just about this line I'm going to stitch it up as cleanly as I can because I am not a very good at stitching. So I'll just go around it and then stitch the white thing on the brown face of it. So just go around as cleanly as you can that's what I can say so I'll just stitch it like this see and go around stitching up the white part so I'll just stitch it up and then meet you like this I'll just go around and then stitch it completely so here I have stitched up my white circle and this is how this looks now I'm going to make the eyes nose and mouth so for that I'm going to take a black thread and here I'm going to determine how long my mouth should be so for that I am using the three uh, double crochets that I have so I'll use one two three so these three double crochet will determine my length. So if you can see here, it's a little more visible. So one, two, three. From here till here, I have made a double crochet. So that same thing I'm going to do. So one center stitch and two stitches apart will be the length of my mouth. So I'll just insert my black thread here. And then come, I'm not knotting it. In case it goes wrong, I can just take it off. So from here, Till the center, I am first going to push my hook. So this is one half. Then go to the next one. So this is my center stitch and go one stitch apart. Push it up. And come back here so that completes my mouth all right now from here I will insert my hook again and then come to the very center of it so that will finish my nose so push it up and here you have your nose so here we have made the mouth now i'm going to make the nose thing so for that if you see the three stitches about three double crochets about that will be my base from where i'm going to make it 
so I'll just insert my hook here and then come all the way down to the center and then again I'll come here to the third stitch Sorry. now I'll again come to this stitch and put a stitch to the center so the third stitch here the double crochet here and to the center now I'll go back and forth and cover this whole part so just keep on making stitches and go to the center and all you have to do is you have to fill up this part so you might have to keep doing a few stitches to cover the entire white surface so here you might have so like this now i'm going to just go back and forth back and forth and then cover this whole white portion and then meet you so here I have gone back and forth, back and forth and this is how I have finally completed it. You might have to do a couple of times to just fill in that full gap. Now we'll make the eyes. Uh, I had completely finished off my yarn when doing this. So I have put another yarn, completely a new one. And now I'll make the eyes. And for that, if you see, this is my center stitch, center double crochet. You have two stitches here. So I'm going to skip that two stitches and from the center skip one stitch and in the next stitch I am going to put the eyes. So for that I will take my yarn, insert it here and then push it down. So this, so here what I have done is I had a larger hole so I have inserted two yarns so that there is a bit of a thickness here you can go two times if you want but here i have used two yarns because i have a larger eye so this completes my first eye next same like that you this is my center stitch skip this one and come to this particular double crochet here come here and push it down so this kind of completes the eyes now so here I have this completed now I'll hide everything and that will complete our project okay so here I have hidden all the tails and this is how this finally looks now the thing is that when you do the eyes and the nose and the mouth uh, it might completely change the look of it so the placements will make a lot of difference actually I had done a previous study where I was placing the eyes and nose and something mismatched and instead of getting a very cute teddy I end up, ended up having a very angry teddy so I had to just discard it off so that is the thing about the eyes nose and mouth so this is how your final applique is hope it was helpful to you I will be uploading more such appliques uh, I'll be updating a I will be making a playlist and then keep on updating with different appliques you can check on it if you are interested so if this video was helpful to you please hit the like button if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing until next time bye thank you for watching